What's good everyone? I'm back with another video and my name is Anas. I'm a fourth year medical student studying in London. Today's video is going to be a mad one. And the reason for that is I've spoken a lot about the iPad and me using it using OneNote. But now a lot of people have said that they use other apps. And I thought for the sake of the channel, I should spend some of my hard earned cash is not really a hard earned student bursary but still <laughs> some of my cash and I paid £10 for the app on iOS, £10 for the Mac OS app and then I used Notability as my daily driver for the past two weeks for note making for university and for studying in general and I have come to some conclusions which I'm going to share with you today and basically five reasons that Notability is better than OneNote although OneNote is better in other areas but that's a different video. Without waffling too much, let's get into the first reason. And I've got Notability open up on here. And the first reason that Notability is better than OneNote is the ability to record audio, particular probably for lectures. And I've said before that OneNote can also do this and other people are gonna be like, oh, OneNote can also record audio. But this still has an edge. And the edge is the ability to record audio while taking notes. And the notes that you take are directly linked to the audio by time. So what do I mean by that? Suppose you're sitting in a lecture and your lecture is like, one of the most common symptoms of a myocardial infarct is chest pain that radiates to the neck and down to the arm. And I'm gonna press record and the lecturer says, chest pain, left arm pain. So you'll see that the writing is coming up as the audio is playing. And what you can see there is the notes are directly linked to the audio by time. On the other hand, on OneNote, you can't really record lectures. Actually, let's show you that. And let's try and record something. And now the audio is recording, but I can try to take notes. It's not really letting me. And then I can stop the recording and the audio is there. And then I have to take notes afterwards. So yeah, that's pretty sick of notability. Reason number two is zoomed in writing. And the problem that you might come across when you're writing on an iPad that has a smaller screen is that you wanna write a bit more neatly, so you need to zoom in, and then you wanna write something. You wanna continue on the same page, so then you need to move, and then keep writing, and move, and keep writing. But then Notability has come up with a solution here. Then you can see that this little box opens here, and this is a zoomed in version of that magnified area here. So I can keep writing here, and then as soon as I get to this blue area, then the box moves. And then I can keep writing here, and then as soon as I get to the blue area here, it moves. And then I can write again, get to the blue area, and then it moves down, okay? So I can do this and write a bit more neatly if I want to. On the other hand, on OneNote, if I wanna keep writing on the same line, then I need to keep moving the screen all the time, which is a bit long. This makes it way more efficient. Reason number three, is the ability to create straight lines really quickly. So let's make the brush strokes a bit bigger so it's easier to see. Now, there's a number of reasons why you might want to create straight lines. For example, if you wanna make geometric shapes, if you want to separate different parts of your notes, if you wanna make a table. One way is you can just do that, okay? But the line doesn't come out like perfectly straight. There's another way of doing it. press and hold and then you create a straight line and then you can create it at any angle so i can create a straight angle i can do like a uh, what a 90 degree downwards i can do a 45 degree angle i can keep making straight lines bang down there make a triangle on the other hand on one note it's a bit more difficult to do this and it's a bit of a hit and miss so the way you can do it is by just opening the pen tool and then creating a straight line and then making kind of like a little arrow and it works sometimes and other times it doesn't work so okay i mean it doesn't really work that well reason number four can be positive or negative but most of the time it's going to be positive and it's that when we make notes we're quite used to having the notes on like an a4 page and especially when you want to print them out and you want to share them so notability actually has all the notes on an a4 kind of uh, aspect ratio and you can see maybe on here is where the page ends and there is where the page starts and then if I want to share this really quickly I can then just share it through here and I can email it save it to Google Drive uh, and also if I want to print it out then it will come out on a A4 aspect ratio on the other hand if I'm on OneNote then you can see that the page is actually endless I can keep going 
And suppose one day I want to actually share this and I send it out to someone else, then it will come out on some kind of weird sized kind of uh, shaped paper. Yeah, it's going to be difficult to use. Um, so usually when I've used one note, then I've just kind of stuck to a, uh, a an A4 size as much as I can, but there is a possibility of overgoing and then that messes things up. And the final reason is the ability to open PDFs and edit PDFs directly. So let's open Safari and I'm on my university virtual learning and I can open this PDF here. So if I open this PDF on Notability, and so the PDF opens up like this and I can edit it directly, draw arrows, I can underline things, I can highlight things on here and I can't go beyond the PDF kind of thing. You can see here on the left, I'm trying to go beyond, it doesn't open up. So it sticks as an A4 PDF that I'm editing directly. On the other hand, let's open this on OneNote. You can see that it pastes the PDF on the OneNote page as an image. So if I click on like the text mode, for example, now, then I can actually move around each page of the PDF. So look at that. And I can move this around like that. All right, I think that's all the five reasons why Notability is better than OneNote. I still like one note for other reasons, but hope you liked the video and that my 20 quid that I spent on these apps were well spent. And what I would like to know is if you use an iPad already, then what app do you use? Maybe I could try and test it. So let me know in the comments what app you use and if you use an iPad and if you don't. Um, and yeah, like the video, comment, subscribe, safe.